you know, like adult coloring books, mm -hmm. and I cut them in the shapes, and the designs would shift in there. And, um, the other problem I had was about the third time I tried to pull coasters, the whole mold just stuck to it, and I had to throw the, everything away. It was a silicone mold. Too, yeah, so there was no way to demold it at all. Like I specifically bought it for resin mm -hmm. pouring, and I don't know if they were just bad molds or if I just. I mean, it was like the third time What's I that, poured, Mike? so I felt like I was kind of getting the hang of it a little bit, and then it, it just didn't demold at all. None of it on any of the sides, or just part of it? No, like it was. No, like parts, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it was like, um, like you could get part of it off, and then that was it, and like the entire mold would rip, and mm. it would just be like gummy underneath where it was stuck. That's and weird. Yeah, it was like if the the resin had cured, but the mold like cured with it. So right. What resin were you using? Um, art resin. Just uh, that. That's the brand name, Art Resin. Mm -hmm. So it's usually a good brand. So yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, uh, really again, what's mold. up, everybody? Did you get them off like? Amazon We're or, yeah. here at a place called Maxine's. Like, um, with things like that. With boards by Brittany. That's Brittany right there. <laughs> these are her boards. These are her boards. All these fun. Do you think I should tape these? Tape them? Do you think I should? I want to see why not. But that's, that's a lot flatter than the ones. Yeah. There's no dip in it. <clears throat> Let me see a present. Looks like this. That's for me. What's up, everybody? Thanks for the thumbs up. So I am going to do a demo for you guys. So if you want to get closer, you can. Or if you're just comfy, that's cool, too. Because the light from the window. From yeah. the window? It all out, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, B, what color do you want me to put in here? Let's do, let's do some what, what white. Does what does that board say? Uh, hello there, handsome. Oh, so handsome colors. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. I'm going to move out of the way here. I'm known for that. <clears throat> Do your pink and your, uh, yeah, that fun, the fun stuff. I don't bring any tools. I'll do peach fuzz. All oh, these fun boards. That's the Wichita flag. He's streaming to everyone and usually if like the end of a stick for something this size it doesn't take much at all. So the paints are kind of more expensive than like craft paint, but it goes a lot further. And you could put quite a bit in there with, with craft paint, it will uh, it'll turn to marshmallow fluff if you try to put too much paint in there. It'll set it off too. Like it's 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 not a fun time. You waste a lot of material. Mm -hmm. So these paints are made <clears> specifically <throat> for resin. They're just and they're, quartz. Yeah, they're way more. Um, what is the word I always want to use? Not opaque, but they are opaque. Yeah. So one to ten in Pigmented. those little cups. You're talking about maybe third way of the cup. Halfway. Well, depending on how much color you want represented, like the purple is so dark, I'm not going to use that much of it. So I have like a fourth of the cup filled. You don't need a lot. Well, I guess you could always. Well, I have the other one that's outside that I'll end up doing too. This is not fun to do when you have gloves on. Oh, that's so right. Good. Yeah. What colors are you using? I'm using deep violet. Your favorite. Oh, that's nice. 
the luster. Bright gold and titanium. I'm using all just resin colors today. Paint companies that we carry in our little shop in Dallas. Did you ever do um, like acrylic pouring? Yeah, I've done acrylic pouring and I've done clear resin pouring. So this is going to be neat for me because I'm still wanting to figure out how to put them together. <laughs> it's kind of intimidating at first if you kind of know what you're doing, but haven't done it yet. So it's... Yeah. We just tell people don't have a plan when you, when you first start because resin will be like, Hold my beer and watch this. Like right. it'll. I also want to learn how to because I want to be able to like pour a layer and then paint on the layer and pour a layer. Mm -hmm. You know, like build it up that way. So it's you can totally do that. Some layer. Yeah. What's up, JJ Doris? <laughs> it's been my plan so far. <laughs> so do you always use your finger to spread it, or do you use the? You can use, tilt it or you can do both or yeah. either, but the thing is, wherever the resin isn't, it's going to be hard to get the resin to go there. Kind of like if you work with watercolors, it's, yeah. it's only so going it to go doesn't... where it's been. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's why I just use my finger to get it a little bit where it is. That way it'll fall more evenly. Um, I just use my finger. Some people use a popsicle stick. You're going to get messy. It's just the nature of the. Well, it's like finger painting. Mm -hmm. So far, it is very much like finger painting. So, it doesn't take long for these colors to mix into the resin either, which is one of my favorite things about it. I now have a drop right there. I see tea. So because this resin has a two hour working time, I'm just going to get it later. Here, we got some alcohol over here. They just put these floors down. The floors look good though. Have you been to Brittany's classes before? Uh, I met Brittany when she was out. We like to work together yeah. at a place. Yeah. <laughs> at a place? Yeah. yeah. At a place. One of those. Yes, it, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Brett Eric Storm. Hmm? He's in Wichita. Well, why don't you come on, on down? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Where was it? Douglas and what? Douglas and Oliver. Douglas and Oliver. Yeah. Where is it? I think all he said was Wichita so far. Well, he said ICT. Um, that's where he flew into. All right, there's still a little bubbles in it. So just a little, the heat gun or a torch gets rid of those. Hello, Diane. You really want to be careful not to get your resin too warm because it'll set up quicker than you want it to. Yep, there's a little air bubbles that yeah. aren't going to go away. We have to talk to it. Not a big deal. Okay. So for my artwork, I usually do negative space. So I have some color in some places and no color in most of the places. Now I start pouring my paint off of the piece. That way there isn't like a blob where you started. I should put some stone foot in this. I don't know why you didn't have it. Because I used titanium. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but it's like to start the paint before you hit the board. That way, you know, when you start on the board, it's going to blob. So you start before yeah. the board yeah. and drag it across. 
that's one of the keys. Definitely makes a difference. Unless you want the blob, then that's perfectly fine as well. So different paints do different things. And this paint was designed to make big cells, which is what a lot of poor people are looking for. So I just try to incorporate some of this stuff when I can open it. Beat. <laughs> Never mind, I think I got it. And the flatter the better, you know, if you have it level. Mm hmm because it's gonna self-level. This stuff takes literally not much at all. Yeah, we don't need a lot of that. And what is that? This is a paint from Stone Coat Countertops. It's their white base tint. She named, I haven't, we haven't said that in a while. This and that. Mm -hmm. People are like, what black is that? And it's like that black or that, this, this white, that black. And it just got named that, and they were going to rename it, but they would have to make all the labels mm -hmm. <laughs> different. Imagine relabeling all of that product. It'll happen one day. Now you get to actually do the design work once you have your colors down. You can use the heat gun to manipulate it or you can use like a piece of paper. We use a lot to just swipe the colors. So fun. You have to get, you can't see it from there. You gotta look. Yeah, it really looks different from yeah. even standing oh, here. That's that's what that white does to that. That's that's why you use it. Yeah. yeah, the cells. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So since it's negative space and there's words on it, I'm probably going to leave it yeah, basically like it that. is. That looks nice. And then 24 hours, it'll be set. And so like those, the little bubbles and bumps that are in it, will those come out? This right here? Uh -huh. I think that's like, that just be part of that's it. a part of the wood, I believe. That's a part of the wood. Okay. We usually use like canvas boards that are primed yeah. super smooth. Like, or the or well, we have tiles for you guys if you want to get your hands dirty and try some of this. Um, you want to? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I probably shouldn't move, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving around. So it's buffering. Oh, the gold? I couldn't yeah. see it from back there at all. Thank it's you. There. Definitely there, for sure. I agree. What? Um, I just wish that was on him. What do you want me to do? Tell me. I was going to see if you wanted to start mixing resin for everybody. Oh, I'm good. Maybe fine. Look how fun that is, y'all. And it's and it's it. so crazy. Like this is where the stone coat, and then this is titanium from just resin. This one's the titanium. And now that you guys know how to do it, it'll take you just a second to do this one, and I'll get y'all set up. So, like when you do the she shells, mm -hmm. when you resin over a 3D, three-dimensional object, mm -hmm. it self-levels. 
that mean like the resin just kind of touched it, whatever's dry? Okay. Just, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it is going to move, but it's nothing I would be really concerned about. And that's what I did with that one. Mm -hmm. Like you can see on the bottom left shelf for the O, it's blue. Right. I got some resin on it. So it did, I wiped it off, but it's still a little bit there. Get pretty. You could just leave that like that. Like that looks so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could. I could totally. And that's another thing is just walking away, just stopping. Because if you continue to do it, your colors will get messy. It'll get muddy and. Mm -hmm. That's one of the hardest things to do is just walk away from it. Okay, I'll walk away. A lot of people when we're doing this and she starts talking, they'll just say, walk away, walk away, stop, walk away. Like Okay. Who wants to get their hands messy? Oh, I All the people? Everybody. <laughs> um, Joe, this is uh Brittany's, the uh, young girl right there. It's her this is her store. This is what uh, she does. She actually has like the the uh, paint parties, and you come and make your own sign. She cuts it cuts it out for you and sticks it on, and you paint it and do what you want with it. And this is uh, so we're introducing her to the resin game. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to know what you're doing. Yeah, here to help. Here's her information. She has a Facebook group there. I'll try not to move around too much, y'all. If you guys tell me what colors you want, I'll go ahead and mix it for you. Are all your colors liquid, or do you have like? I have some powders. powders. Yeah. Yeah. I like those colors. Well, those are already mixed in, so that might be really yeah. easy. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, those. Are gorgeous. <laughs> you can see these. Yeah. These are already good to go. This is my mom and dad. Everybody say hi. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> what you got, James? Rosalie and Green. Oh, that'll be that'll be neat. Mm -hmm. Brazilian is that kind of like double? Hi, mom and dad. Your parents are cute. Hi, mom and dad. Yeah. I said hi. Kind of. <laughs> The blue greeniest one I have is this teal. It's non-luster, so it's like flat. There's no shine or shimmer or sparkles. Look how she has her paints over here. She is ready to go. Sorry for the uh, pixelating. <laughs> We'll show you the easiest way to do coasters. The, the fun, easy way to first time normally is perfect. But what I always say that coasters give you a false sense of you're doing something amazing because it's so small and then you want to do it on something big and it's like completely different. <laughs> It's kind of like wax paper, but it's not wax paper. I just like a heavy, it looks like the stuff that comes off the back of a sticker. Well, that's where I get get them from, is they're the back of the FedEx labels. Oh, cool. I just repurpose my so what kind of things have you done? Before, We've done it on posters, wood, table, countertops. Um, yeah, a dresser would be fun. A dresser would be fun. You could do like dresser and have, have it fall down the side like dripping paint. That would look nice. That would look really nice. I'm afraid I need to stop moving. Like record the rest of it. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to get my hands dirty, y'all. Help her mix these colors. I don't have a tripod for this, so we will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining us for this short little thing. Sorry about the pixelation. Uh, we will see y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>